Hey guys, I'm here with another review. This is uh, cocaine and peach mango. Uh, cocaine, it is an energy drink made in Georgia. Uh, there's about three or four different types. The, from what I've read, the, there's this one, the mixed berry, the spicy, and the cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon. That's what it was. And, uh, these uh, here, they are, they only come in this size can. <clears throat> but I'll go ahead and tell you, these things are very strong energy drinks right off the get-go. They have like almost 300 milligrams of caffeine in them in the small can. So for a can this size, that is very, very strong. Uh, I've, only had, I've only had these a couple of times. They're actually really decent. But for the size of the can, that's really that's my only complaint with them is the size of it. But other than that, they're really, really good. And they also have like, excuse me, guys, 21 grams of sugar and 21 grams of added sugar. So these things are very strong. Yeah, this one, the funny thing I've always found was this warning label that says, this message is for the people who are too stupid to recognize the obvious. This product does not contain the drug cocaine. Duh. This product is not intended to be an alternative for a street drug, and anyone who thinks so is an idiot. <laughs> I found that pretty funny. Yeah, let's see how this is. This is going to be very good, I think. Oh, I could smell mango right off the bat. And all I am noticing, yeah, it, yeah, it has color to it. I was thinking this thing was like, uh, well, it's a little bit like a bang. There's a little bit of color to it, but not much. Like inside the can, I might have to show you side the can it's hard to tell but there's a little bit of color in there but not but it's very very shallow I like the other two yeah let's see how this is all right it has that distinct cocaine flavor and taste to it they all have their distinctive taste, but this one has that distinct cocaine taste to it. And I can definitely taste mango in it. Yeah, very strong mango. But certainly right now, no complaints on my behalf. Oh yeah, leave it in your mouth a second. You can feel the mango. It's very, very strong. But yeah, these, these so far are really good. I think so far, um, red and the blue are probably my favorite. I have to find the cinnamon somewhere. These I found online. I was hoping it had cinnamon with it, but apparently not. But I like to try to find that somewhere. But yeah, so far, not bad at all. Not bad. It, um, but it certainly tastes like mango. It feels like a little bit of an apple in it. Yeah, strong mango, definitely. And it does feel like a touch of apple. But, 
so far with these, I don't have complaints on them. <laughs> They're, like I said, no complaints whatsoever. Very decent and something to have once in a while, but I wouldn't have it regularly. For the price of these on the market, I would say at most gas stations, if you can find them there, they're hard to find at a gas station, actually. I'm, I'm thinking at most gas stations, they're probably about $2.80 or something like that, probably $3 a can. So, but my personal, this is my personal opinion, for a 12-ounce can, that's not worth it. But this, uh, but it's probably worth the try once in a while. But yeah, really, really good. No doubt. That cap. You all ever see one of these? Anywhere, take and give them a shot. They're not, like I said, really so far with these. No complaints on my behalf whatsoever. Just the size of the can that's the only complaint. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, I'm certainly going to enjoy the rest of this now. It's so far pretty impressive to me. <laughs> yeah, that is uh, cocaine peach mango. Uh, I do have another series I'm going to be doing pretty soon. So watch out for that one, and I will see you all then.